said the stream had disconnected. Am I currently connected? That was weird. The stream disconnected and now I'm back. Um, hang on. That was weird. I, I don't like it. Um, But anyway, let me try to win this battle. I'm gonna run because I don't know what the deal with that was. Alright, um. Okay. Gonna have Johnny take his own. I think I'm gonna quit for the night because I don't know what that deal was with the stream temporarily disconnecting. It also says that my hard drive's running low on space. I guess now my hard drive technically, but my solid state drive, it's running out of space for no particular reason, except maybe that doing the live stream eat subspace, but I, I still don't know why the stream temporarily disconnected. Maybe it's like a file buffering issue or something, I don't know. But, um, so now I know, um, what to do as far as grinding for points goes. Um, so I think when I start the next live stream, I'm going to do it right before the next advancement. Um, so, so you don't like, just have to watch me fighting the wizards over and over again. Um, yeah, but basically from what I've read is... The wizard gives off more experience points than anything down in the cellar. Uh, so I wish I could just honestly skip any battles in the cellar because they're not worth it. And it also, the wizard gives off more experience points than pretty much anything in the sword. Um, let me bring up the list that I came up with. Uh, 
Um, all right, so, okay, so uh, the tarantula in the sewer, technically, it, it gives off 90 points, but you have to actually go into a sewer and find a tarantula among the various other enemies, whereas you know right where the wizard is at. And you can get to a wizard a lot easier. And flying a tarantula gives you only 10 extra points. And it's got 16 more hit points than the wizard. The wizard has 44 hit points. The tarantula has 60. Uh, now, there is an enemy in the sewer called the Black Widow. And it gives off, it gives 500 experience points. It has 200 hit points. Now, it's a boss battle, though. So, uh, I mean, from what I understand, you can fight it repeatedly, but it would require, like, probably exiting the sword and coming back in and going back to the where, where the Black Widow is located. So, again, it's 500 points is tempting. 500 points per win, you, you could definitely move up in the levels quicker. And I think once, um, once I get good enough of beating the wizard, uh, and I head uh, into a sewer, then yeah, I'll definitely be fighting the Black Widow over and over again. But until then, it's going to be just wizard battles for a while. Um, there's an enemy in Catacombs 1, which actually is not beneath the sewer, as I guessed yesterday. Uh, it's actually beneath the heretical temple. But there's an enemy in there called the Ghoul, which... Uh, has 56 hit points, it gives you 100. Not too terribly much more than the wizard. Um, and in Catacombs level 2, there's something called Seeker that gives you 200 points. So... But that would take... Um, that takes some getting, um, some traveling to get to. Uh, so for right now, it's going to be the wizard and probably later on the, the black widow. Um, once I'm done, once, I don't know when this will be, but when I get toward catacombs level three, there's a boss battle with someone named Eltrek. He has 500 hit points, but he gives you 5,000. So I'll, I'll be finding him over and over again, definitely. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for right now. And um, I'm going to just play the game some more tomorrow before I start streaming. Um, just to uh, get to the point before I'm about to level up again, and then I'll start streaming. Uh, anyway, it's 11.04 p.m., and that's it. Thanks for watching.